Hey guys, welcome back to the MFO today. Um, again, sorry that this is not in the uh, PowerPoint format like it was last season. It's just we're, we're pumping out through weeks. It, it's hard to have time to, you know, get games out. So, last week's uh, game, Summer City beat JT City 57 to 44 in a big 12 type shootout. Newman beat Springfield by one twenty nineteen twenty to nineteen. Um and then despite lag, Mindbake beat Everton thirty one to twenty one. Um some some notable stats. Um Summer City threw for one ninety four and JT City ran for two thirty. Uh Newman and Springfield both had over a hundred yards rushing. Both were held to under 60 yards, passing Newman with 53. Uh, and Ryan Bay ran for 210 against Everton for touchdowns. Um, and so that brings us, uh, rushing-wise, Ryan Bay gets 416. That's leading the league in here. I'm actually just going to show you guys. You can pause the video right here. So, uh, yeah, there are the numbers so far. I should be able to read that. Um, the week... Three matchups are JT no yes JT City at Springfield Springfield's favored by ten I have Springfield um that line is expected to drop um then we have JT City no Summer City at Mindbake Mindbake is favored by four um, I'm going to take Mindbake in that game then I can't predict Everton at Newman that's the game of the week. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, looking forward to week number three. And just a heads up, in week four, which is going to be this weekend, um, it's already Friday, but that will be Saturday night, Sunday. Um, in week four, there's only going to be two games played because Ben is going out of town. He'll be back Monday, so then he's just going to play two games in week five. And then, yeah, the regular season should conclude around January 6th. So, yeah, um, in terms of the creep road, it could be like the 13th or 14th of January, I'm not sure, but again, I, I want to get deeper into the regular season before we talk about creep road dates, so see you guys in the next one, bye.